Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a good start on VRTG. Now, now I'm going to be showing you, this is with no traction control, with traction control, it may be a bit different, but I think it's, it's, got the, it's the same. So anyway, um, yeah, now I'm going to just do a normal start, and what I'm going to do, we're going to, I'm going to record the fastest time, the fastest time, speed that I achieve when I show you the methods you can use. Now with mode 2, 3 and, and uh, 125 and 250s, those are all of, you don't have to do anything, you can just accelerate and you go. But um, with the big classes, this is the method I use to get a good start. So obviously you just accelerate as usual and then you go. Let's see what speed I go up to. Here we go. So we got up to two hundred and twenty two miles an hour. Guys, so now the next tip now the next where you can uh do um do uh the good start is the Moto GP fifteen method. Now if you don't know what it is, um uh, basically it's where you hold the rear brake, the front brake, well you don't have to hold the rear brake because it's a start, then you know you have the, you have to hold the accelerate, accelerate and the front brake, and then you basically, then you hold forward on the analog stick, the left analog stick, and then you go, you keep, you, you keep, you keep your thumb down on the analog stick and you just keep the accelerator going. Right, let's see how fast we can go. Well, we can go up to max speed. Right, time to see the next. Time to see my, the, the next and last method. Right, now, my final way of uh, getting a good start is what you do, you just accelerate. And then you go to the point where you just Flashes like that, let go, shift up. Right, here we go. See how quick we can get to top speed. And that's it. So, uh, the times to how quick I got to the max speed will be in the description. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you start using this uh, this tip on how to have how to go faster, uh, how to have a faster start. But I do advise if the, uh, if the second one is quicker, because I won't actually know at this point. We'll have to look back. But um, if it is quicker, I suggest you don't use it when you've got tire wear on because it does kill the it kills the rear tire. Unless you've got a tire wear, then it's fine. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll. Um, might show you another tip. Um, yeah, probably how, to, maybe braking or something like that. How to, how to always find the best braking point or something. But anyway, guys, I'll see you soon. See ya.